Hi, I'm Bob in Osterhout. I want to talk to you about school stress. Uh, that's a, a really common thing and uh, students tend to push themselves to try to do well and actually that's a mistake and as I talked about on the, uh, the video on uh, clearing our minds, uh, the more we try, the more tension we have, our focus becomes more narrow and our ability to take in information is diminished. So the most effective way uh, to learn something is to be relaxed and at ease and not in a hurry and be, to be doing one thing at a time. Uh, research clearly shows that, that multitasking uh, actually interferes with learning. There is a, it kind of goes through a funnel in the brain and the brain does not process multiple inputs at once and it actually creates difficulty and problems and I read a, a research article that was titled uh, multitasking makes you stupid. Okay, uh, So it's not a helpful thing to try to do two things at once, particularly if you're studying. Uh, so have studying be the only thing in front of you when you're doing that. Uh, and balance is, is a critical piece to that. Uh, I would encourage you to look at the videos on diaphragmatic breathing and grounding uh, because getting rid of tension uh, allows you to absorb information and understand things and make connections with things in your mind uh, much more effectively. And I'd like to read you a, a quote from a student uh, who's in my, who was in my online stress management course. And she just finished an assignment where she had to practice the four balance techniques for 10 consecutive days. Uh, and then she took a, a math exam. And here's what she wrote. I must say, I think these techniques are working. I have been horrible at math my whole life and it usually causes me considerable anxiety. Last Monday, I practiced the grounding, breathing, thought focusing, and meditation before taking a math test at the assessment center. I was amazed at how smooth and easy it went, despite the fact we were told it was the hardest test of the semester. I felt comfortable and laid back during the test taking and afterwards. My test score came back today as 101%. I had worked out every problem correctly, including a bonus question, and never before I have, have I obtained such an awesome mark on an arithmetic exam. This is really remarkable, and getting in balance really makes a difference for my level of concentration. I think she said that very well. Okay, when you're in balance, then your natural ability comes through uh, to the extent that you have tension or difficulty uh, pushing yourself or worrying about something, uh, then it interferes with that process. Uh, research shows that we learn the most in the first 20 minutes of studying. Uh, and then it starts going downhill after that. Uh, and that's because we start to get tired and our attention wallers and tension may start to build up. So one thing that's very helpful to keep in mind while studying uh, is to, to take a break every 20 minutes to a half hour, no more than 40 minutes or an hour. Uh, and to do that on a regular basis. Uh, walk around, do some grounding, some diaphragmatic breathing, get some exercise, and then go back to it. And make sure you're in balance when you, when you start studying. Uh, make sure you're getting sufficient rest. Uh, staying up all night really interferes with your process of learning and, and uh, uh, is a, gives us an illusion that we're working hard and learning something, but the actual performance uh, is not any better. We learn much better when we're in balance. Um, and the, the three principles uh, that uh, we talk about in the text, accept, balance, and clarify, the ABCs of stress management, will give you some guidance in developing strategies uh, for becoming successful in school. Uh, but there's a book that uh, really explains this process very well. Uh, there's a man named Cal Newport who interviewed uh, very successful students in highly challenging programs throughout the country. Basically, he talked to people who were getting straight A's but had no stress in their lives and also had a social life and, and enjoyed life and were having a good time. Uh, and he looked at what they did that worked and summarizes in a very clear book. Uh, it parallels the ABCs of stress management and he writes very simply and very clearly and has a number of creative strategies that are very effective. Uh, I gave the book to uh, both of my children uh, uh, who are doing well in college and would recommend it to all of you. Take care. Good luck.